Chu. I bet you're wondering who the Skux Māori boy is on your computer screen. And if you're thinking that, cheer again. Trending in 2K16 is Māori and employment. And I'll let you in on a bit of a secret. The way to make gaining employment easier is whanaungatanga, or networking. That way, you'll have the right people around you and you can have a chur kind of day. Hi, I'm Kilu. I'm in my last year of school. Next year, I'm out in the working world and heading out to test the waters. Ask the questions that not only help me find a job, but a job I'll love. And to make sure we forget nothing on our fact-finding mission, we're making a video diary out of it. Kia ora, Kia ora, Morgan um, I'm the owner of um, Kaitiaki Studios um, and I'm the lead designer at Ariki Creative. My name is Hori Mataki, an operator of Ariki Creative. Uh, we do graphic design, web design, mobile apps, VR, virtual reality. Is Māori tanga portrayed in your job? If, if so, how? Māori tanga is portrayed in our mahi. Um, it sort of underpins everything, it's like a big kaupapa of what we do. So um, being a design business, it's not just uh, a thing that helps uh, set us away from the pack and it's a part of our brand too. Um, it's also a part of who we are because we are Māori. The narratives and stuff are not just there for uh, business sake, it's there because that's who our tūpuna are. It's our responsibility to tell the stories of our ancestors and our tūpuna uh, with mana and respect. So what does a Māori wahine have to do to, uh, to establish, you know, themselves in this career? It's hard. I'm the only female um, sort of in the hub as a digital native. A lot of my time goes into my family and I've got a four-year-old, so it takes a lot of my time and a lot of my mind power, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky as well. I'm sort of the only one that's virtual artist and tamaku artist and things like that, so I just make sure that those things that I do that they can't are sort of um, seen in my work. So what you guys do, can that be taught? If you can learn, you can learn anything, I reckon. And if you're not so good at learning, try and get better at learning, because then you can learn anything. And we've got pretty much the, the world's at our fingertips now with the internet and things like that, resources, digital stuff. You can go online and pretty much find out anything you want in the world, and you can try and become anything you want. If you use. As long as you have that innovator spirit. Do you want to tell us a bit more about your tamoko career then? So I um, work as a tattoo um, tamoko artist at Expression mm -hmm. on New Regent Street in Christchurch. It varies, it's not just moko, I do lots of tattoo work, lots of Pacific Island work, um, moko. I've been lucky enough to have some external influence from um, Fane Robinson on bits and pieces of my work, which is awesome, but um, I guess learning in a traditional tattoo studio, you learn a lot about the machines and the techniques and, and things like that, and a lot of what I learn here and the Māori tanga of what I learn as part of this hub um, carries on to what I can do over there, so everything complements each other. Uh, so what are you doing here? Working on a bit of uh, design stuff for um, clothing, just working on some things for trade training. So what kind of process do you have to go through to make this kind of stuff? We get approached by a client and they come and give us a design brief, like the kind of colours they're into, the kind of, the kind of look and feel that they're after, who's going to be wearing the clothes or who's going to be wearing the design and we work backwards from there. It's come off a look and feel. What inspires you to create your designs? We have a philosophy around um, pakapapa and tikanga, so we will get a story that's grounded in traditional Māori design and then bring it to the uh, modern age and look at how we digitise things and bring them to make them look more contemporary. So that's uh, pretty much our goal with all our designs, so to carry a narrative from uh, the people of the land. So um, what are you doing here? At the moment um, we're doing some installations at the, at the new Māori land courts. These are going to be made out of wood slats and wrapped around. What kind of process do you go through, like the concept of each design? Oh, at the start of it, um, when we're sort of in brainstorming, I usually draw lots of concepts on my tablet like this. Um, we started playing with the idea of a Māori snowflake and I import the files into here and they get carried away, as you can see, in working files. Right and we can use our software to integrate what we've designed. We heard you guys do VR as well. Would you be able to show us? So you want to chuck this on? So what she's experiencing now is it's a spherical video, it's 360 degrees virtual reality. Um, so she's pretty much seeing what's on here on the screen at the moment. <laughs> it looks quite awesome.
So let's recap what we just learned. Choose a job that fits in with your whānau and values. Your skills and talent can transfer from job to job. Have a passion for digitising and modernising Māori narratives. Make sure you check out our other awesome industry videos on the Maya website.